name is Matthew Wilson, and today I will be examining NYU Stern's digital presence and making recommendations on how it can improve its reach online. By looking closely at Stern's website, social media accounts, and smaller digital channels, I have made three conclusions. One, the website is overcrowded with both repetitive and inconsistent pages. The site should be simplified and condensed in order for information to be easy to find and useful. Two, the marketing efforts by the graduate and undergraduate schools are not clearly differentiated. By distinctively separating the brands, each will be strengthened. And three, resources are being underutilized in several digital channels, including paid search, digital advertisements, phone applications, digital out-of-home advertising, etc. The time and money towards these should be transferred to more effective channels. Stern.nyu.edu is the official website of NYU Stern. The homepage consists of scrolling images that link to blog posts concerning student activities, guest speakers, student spotlights, etc. Each photo is captioned with a verb, then the word possible, a play off the school slogan, an education impossible. The navigation bar at the top, while it does not span across the page, holds every link that you may need when researching programs in the undergraduate or graduate schools. It also includes various portals for students, faculty, and even recruiters, and continue general information about the school. On the Stern website, everything is by default describing the graduate programs, unless it is specifically labeled as part of the undergraduate school. This includes events, faculty, and the social media buttons found throughout the site. While exploring the site, I found several pages that seemed almost identical, but varied in information or format. One example is the two pages in sub-navigation bars describing the undergraduate program. One is reached by going to the Programs tab and selecting Undergraduate while the other is reached by going to the Portals tab and selecting Current Undergraduate Students. These two pages have almost identical sub-navigations, although they are placed in different orders with slightly different content and verbiage. For example, the link to ISP. This creates confusion about the opportunities available to prospective students, clutters the site, and seems unprofessional, things a business school should be avoiding. While NYU prides itself on the efficiency of being decentralized, I believe this is an example of it going too far. In addition, some programs, specifically the Global Executive MBA and Masters in Global Finance programs, have their own websites. When searching for more information, users are taken off of the Stern website to these new sites, not even opening a new tab. This instantly weakens the digital reach of the NYU Stern website, going against the wheel and spoke model of digital presence. The Stern brand utilizes two social media handles, NYU Stern and Stern UC. Similar to the website, NYU Stern posts by default are related to the graduate school, unless specifically labeled as an undergraduate relevant post. Stern UC, however, is exclusively used for undergraduate life. These two handles are used differently as NYU Stern is primarily used to share articles discussing guest speakers that are visiting, what professors are researching, etc while Stern UC primarily posts original or student-generated content about student activities, whether that be clubs, professional events, studying abroad, etc. My largest critique of Stern's various social channels is that while it is clear the audiences are different, they still overlap with content. Also, many of the Stern UC channels are not verified, unlike NYU Stern, which minimizes the legitimacy for prospective students. Utilizing Moat.com, I was able to find a collection of NYU Stern's digital ads. As you can see from these examples, they are limited to the graduate school. This could be justified by younger generations, those applying to the undergraduate program, if efficient ad blockers and wouldn't see them, or if they did, would pay them no attention. In reference to paid search, I experimented with a variety of New York City and business-focused searches, and this ad was the only one I could find by searching very specific phrases, such as New York City Business School or NYU Business. As prospective students age, they will be less and less vulnerable to traditional digital ads. So while it may be useful to place stern ads on pages, say, concerning MBA programs, it would be harder to justify spending this money on undergraduate targeted ads. Other digital channels that are underutilized at our Stern's two applications, one for graduate and one for undergraduate students, that are updated twice and once a year respectively, but never widely used. And its digital out-of-home advertising consists of monitors advertising events and opportunities for students outside of their elevators. However, these two are widely ignored by students. To improve Stern's digital presence, I have three recommendations. First, 
Simplify the website by removing duplicate pages and making the various program pages more uniform in their format. This will not only look nicer, but the information will be easier to find, will be clearer for prospective and current students. Two, differentiate the student undergraduate and graduate brands. These two groups of students are looking for two different experiences. It makes sense to fully develop these brands and tailor it to the audience in mind. This could be accomplished by clearly labeling the at NYU Stern handle as graduate information and the handle at Stern UC as undergraduate, which it currently is. Going back to my first recommendation of modifying stern.nyu.edu, this site could be a general landing page, a source of quick links that could then further be divided into undergraduate.stern.nyu.edu and graduate.stern.nyu.edu. This would create no confusion for prospective or current students about the different opportunities that are available to them, whether that be professional, academic, social, etc. Finally, rather than allocate resources to small or half-baked social channels, I would focus on those that worked. For example, develop an application that be used daily by students, one that is integrated with club meeting schedules, professional events, social activities, as well as non-Stern but NYU resources, like the bus schedule. This would be much more engaging for current students that could use it every day, rather than putting money towards digital ads, whether that be on phones, on screens, on websites, that will largely be ignored by the targeted audience. Today, I explained how Stern could improve its digital presence by simplifying its overwhelming website, fully developing its graduate and undergraduate brands, and by devoting more resources to channels that work, rather than throwing time and money at underperforming campaigns. Thank you for watching, and feel free to comment any questions below.